Hey, how you doing today? I'm better because I got this small engine running and just want to show you a thing or two I learned about it. I don't know much about these. Um, uh, the governor and the uh, throttle and all how it works, but I'm, I've learned a little bit. So I was discouraged on fixing this thing because as you can see, no matter how much you move the throttle lever, this doesn't move. This this is moving the throttle butterfly in the carburetor right there. So you're moving the throttle lever by your, with your hand, and that's doing nothing. So my first thought is, well, the thing's wide open; it's never going to start. You can't get any vacuum in the engine to suck gas in and all, even with the choke. But and then even if it did start, it's going to rev up like crazy and don't want that on a cold engine and so but anyway I called a guy that knew more about it than I do and he told me that uh, when they're at rest like that they, they some of them stay wide open when they're shut off shut down so but anyway you can see the uh, hold on a second. you can see the butterfly in there moving see I'm moving the governor arm and that's what's controlling that butterfly valve but the governor and the throttle lever um, work in tandem all the time so uh, anyway just wanted to let you know got that thing running and I'm glad and because I thought it was screwed up with it stuck in the wide open position like that so maybe you're thinking like me too and don't know much about small engines because I sure don't but uh, anyway, I think that's about it. Um, now, the other question I'm concerned about is this: Why well, can I only get like 40 psi compression? That's pretty lousy. That's a whole nother thing. At least it runs, right? So, uh, hope you found something helpful about this. And uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye.